are these people? Speaking of which, you know, I'm not going to give my play-by-play -play a recap of what happened because I didn't really choose to watch the shit show. Though we did have four people covering it, Yeti and Angel joined Himbo and Crab on Politically Homeless. And people said their mm. coverage was hilarious. And it was a... Uh, Vince McMahon made that Trump character, I swear. I don't know about that because... Well, maybe Trump. Because Biden was definitely not up to WWE standards. And I think the WWE would have put it on a much more entertaining production than what CNN did. Considering the whole... Yeah! Right? Considering the whole thing was basically scripted anyway and that they had mute buttons and nonsense. Right? But our friend Laura Kay over at Normal Island News, Normal Island News, go subscribe to her over on the Substack, normalisland.co.uk. Americans confirm Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the very best they've got. They are the two finest Here's individuals. A clap for that. Well, yes, they are the two finest individuals out of a third of a billion people. Now, oh. she is the greatest satirist of UK. And I will give her that title. The greatest nation on earth has confirmed two grouchy old men who took the stage in a televised battle to be the figurehead of the Uniparty for the next four years are easily the two most capable individuals in a country of 332 million. Of the above. Yes. It was the greatest rematch of all time, like another Ali versus Foreman of, or Kurt versus Tong Po as the men wore hand wraps di dipped in broken glass and adult diapers sponsored by APAC, of course. The pair exchanged uh -huh. brutal blows throughout the debate, but unquestionably the biggest challenge they faced was reading from an auto cue because they couldn't hold their eyes open. And neither could anyone else. These two prime specimens, whose rugged athleticism is matched only by their fierce intellects, are clearly the only choices to run the most powerful war machine the world has ever seen, which is why none of the other candidates were allowed onto the stage. Just imagine if Jill Stein or Booby were allowed to talk about how corporations have completely fucked Americans over, and nothing ever changes, no matter they which... They wouldn't. Well, no, they... Well, Jill Stein might, no matter which wing of the Uniparty is mm -hmm. in charge... Americans might start realizing there are alternatives that don't involve BlackRock and Vanguard owning everything, including their souls. Democracy is when the establishment decides when two identical candidates you're allowed to choose from, and they will only narrow it down to the very best, of course. This is why nothing ever goes wrong when the U.S. elects a president. Obviously, I want everyone to love me, so I would like to clarify that I love Donald Trump and Joe Biden as much as their donors do. <laughs> I'm a real people pleaser, and I'm confident that no matter who Americans choose, the 1% will continue to thrive. The candidates... I said it before, and I'll say it again. What? What? Democracy simply doesn't work. Thank you. The candidates... <laughs> I don't know I was, why that's I was waiting for the other half, I was like, huh? <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you for for is that that's Kent Brockman, reporting. I I don't I don't remember. It was Simpsons gag, I think. Yes. Uh, the candidates um, who are coincidentally funded by the same people have dramatically different visions that include doing everything exactly the same and knowing they won't live long enough to see the consequences. <laughs> if you couldn't be bothered to watch the debate because you're normal, here are the key policy differences. Trump acts like the climate crisis doesn't exist, whereas Biden pretends he's doing something about it. Trump would take away abortion rights, whereas Biden would use abortion as a fundraising tool. Trump says he would go harder on genocide, whereas Biden pretends he is pushing for peace. Trump grabs him by the pussy, whereas Biden sniffs hair and digitally penetrates people. Both men prefer, yeah. to, both men prefer to talk about their golf swings and agree corporate greed is the fault of refugees at the border. The Republicans feel they have a real statesman now because they finally taught their man to stop farting and picking his nose in public. Sometimes. This means Trump is the underwhelming favorite to win, and this is hugely exciting given what a roaring success he was last time, at least for the late-night comedy scene. Bad news, bad things are happening. 
The Democrats were so enthused by their guy's performance, they were left asking, is it too late to replace him? But it was hardly Joe Biden's fault they scheduled the debate during nap time. Sadly, the Democrats have decided it's too late to replace Biden because Michelle Obama couldn't be too arsed to stand. And no one wants Hillary Clinton. So their strategy is to call you ageist if you point out sleepy, creepy, handsy, genocide Uncle Joe is not fit to run a convenience store, let alone a country. If you don't vote Biden, you why, hate old why people, do people, you bastard. Why do people think Michelle is going to be the next? Like, I see no indication of, I mean, other than she's a name people know. And that you know? she has a likability rating that's insanely high, and that she is somebody that basically, right. that she has, she's shit lived heaven to them. Yeah, um, but never have governed, never like served office. We don't even know what her policies you know, are. Her own personal ones. We right. know we, we know what her husbands were, and they were pretty friggin' atrocious. Yeah. Uh, well, they yeah. they they sounded good, but the, in practice, they were garbage, beyond garbage. But like Laura wants to finish, whoever wins in November, I'm more confident they can take the world several steps closer to destruction by signing bills that energy companies and arms manufacturers put on their desk and pretending this counts as leadership. God bless America. Love you, Laura. She's, she's great. Woo! Yeah.